here we go. So, um, keep the card you have. Um, we're gonna stand up. There's, I'm gonna give you this. We know how to do this, okay? There's a lot on this for you to take apart. We'd be interested to see what you're looking at. I've never taught you how to do this before, so it's your job. Try to notice, let's say, 15 things, um, and we're gonna see if we can take this apart. This is what we're doing today. So when you look at this and this looks overwhelming, that's okay, it's supposed to, okay? It's supposed to. So, um, go ahead and find the group you were just in. You don't need to bring anything with you. Wait, but is it the same from the top and the bottom? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't take an so it's great common factor for both the top and the bottom. What's this factor? So when I raise on the bottom, it takes my steps. Over. I think I'm running. You can't go in each one. Oh, that's where you. Oh, that's like is equal. That's equal. Yeah. Okay. Good. So what you notice was in whatever's happening here that there was some factoring that was happening first. Okay, keep going. Um, the question mark is x minus six over x minus three. Okay, so we're saying that. To find the greatest common factor if there is one. Okay, good. Like, if the answer is x minus 6 over x minus 3, mm -hmm. wouldn't it simplify to like x plus 2? Okay, the question is does x minus 6 over x minus 3 keep going to x plus 2? What do you guys think? What we need to do is figure this out. So here's my question and my challenge to you guys. This will be interesting to see. I know how I would prove this, but I would like to know to see if you guys could prove anything right or wrong. So how would you as a group maybe try to prove that this is a simplified version? Or how would you as a group try to prove that this is the simplified version? Or how would you as a group try to prove that this is the simplified version? So what are some of the tools you have in front of you that would help you decide what is what? Think about it for a second. Remind you when you type in the first original equation, that okay. equation, and then you're going to type in each of the an possible answers in their own, and then see which graph matches the graph of the original equation. Can you hear what she just said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody who heard what she said, can you repeat it? Okay. Type in the original equation, type in each of the answers, and find which of the answers matches the original graph. Go. Everybody, go. X plus 2 does not match. What's that? And then X. That one, yeah. 